Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And one of the common things that happen from time to time is somebody that pops up with a question that I've had answered in the past, but a refresher is probably not a bad idea. Um, all about streaming videos. Um, I often get people that say, well, you know what? I go to YouTube and I start streaming videos and it just doesn't work well. It's buffering all the time it's low quality, or I go to any other service that streams video and it doesn't work well, and I don't know what to do about it. So there's a few things you need to check. First of all, restart every device that you have, not only the computers or even the smart TV, but the router, the modem that connects to the internet, just make sure that you restart everything. Sometimes a simple restart of the devices fixes the problem. The other thing that you should be checking out on um, either a, a, a smartphone or a laptop or a computer, check your internet speed. Go to speedtest.net and there click the go button at the center. You should be actually having a good internet speed. If it's not fast enough, you'll have buffering. And this is going to tell you if it's solid rock or it's kind of hiffy and sometimes goes down and drops and then restarts or goes again. These are things to look at. What's your internet speed? The real one from a test that you do, not from what your manufacturer or the internet service provider is telling you. How far are you? Are you on Wi-Fi? And if you are, how far are you from the router and this once again is going to actually give you the same thing here this speed that you get here it's also going to show up the further away you are from your router your wi-fi the slower this speed is going to be maybe you're too far away maybe you need to change the channel that you are on your router or in the uh, possibility of having five gigahertz speed then switch your connection to a five gigahertz connection. So if you look at your uh, Wi-Fi connections, well, you should see that there are other speeds. I am, and I always force my computer to be on five gigahertz. So that's why it says 5G here. And that is, of course, often the fastest speed that you can get. If you're really far away, maybe sometimes switching to 2.4 can actually help as the um, distance of 2.4 sometimes is better. But the problem is 2.4 often has competition with your neighborhood if there's a lot of devices around you. Make sure no one, if you're not alone using the internet, make sure no one is running apps in the background that actually demand a lot of um, you know, juice. An example, it could be an Xbox that's downloading games. It could be any device that somebody is streaming something a little more intense or that um, is, you know, downloading huge files. This will slow down your connectivity everywhere. So that's important. How many people are actually doing something on the Internet right now? Is everybody in the family streaming something different? Depending on the speed of the Internet you have, this could be the case. In terms of a PC or a computer that, you know, got nothing else running, you don't know what's happening, I think one of the things you should do if your uh, internet, your streaming is bad, if YouTube videos don't play or freeze all the time, always buffering, uh, make sure your computer is not bogged down by something. Go to the task manager and look at how much power your device your apps are actually using on your CPU, for example. Is it maxed out at 100%? That could be something to look at. Um, look at your GPU. Is it maxed out at 100% every all the time? And you got nothing that you can do about it? What's happening with all of that? And try to find solutions of what apps, actually. So in the processes, you'll see what is using the most your CPU and so on. As for uh, disk access also, if disk access is stuck at 100%, that can actually, especially if you have a, an old magnetic hard drive, that can slow down the full computer, the whole computer. 
Maybe just restart your PC. Look at what apps are actually using the power of your computer. And one of the things that often can be a problem, make sure that you have the latest drivers for your, uh, in the device manager, you can go and check out your display adapters. Make sure that the drivers that are installed and the driver details are the latest possible available for you to make sure that you're up to date, that it works well in the computer. And try different browsers. Sometimes it could be a setting, it could be extensions that you're using in your browser that's bogging it down. And one of the things not to overlook is if you actually do a lot of things in, in, in on the internet that could put you at risk for viruses, um, maybe virus scan, make sure that everything is fine. And if all fails, usually a complete reinstall of Windows probably will fix the problem. Although it's a big job, sometimes it's necessary. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.